50. Huh? There's been an earthquake on the south side of Etna. E la sirena, ecco. <laughs> In one of the most volcanic regions in Europe, an earthquake is detected. It could indicate devastating activity on the continent's largest volcano. But still, on Etna, tourists gather unaware. Right now we are by 9,000 feet above the sea level, the highest you can get when you come to Laonetta. What we're looking at is the southeast crater, the baby, it's the newest, 1971, but it's also considered the most dangerous of all because in this moment it's becoming, how to say, hyperactive. As a journalist making programs around the world, I travel a lot. Like any traveller, a certain amount of risk goes with the territory. But some of those risks seem clearer than others. The recent catastrophic eruption on New Zealand's White Island which killed 20 and injured a further 27, has highlighted the risks of visiting active volcanoes. But for the 10,000 a year heading to White Island, and the many more visiting the 1,500 active volcanoes around the world, how could they really understand the likelihood of disaster? I wanted to find out more about what it means to visit these mythical phenomena and also what they mean to the people living in their shadow. So, I'm going to Etna, but I'm not the first BBC journalist to visit the volcano. Just three years ago, a group of tourists, along with BBC science correspondent Rebecca Morell, were suddenly hit by an eruption on the side of the volcano. Have you seen the others? Yeah, they're down there. Okay. Okay. It was lucky that none were killed by the molten rocks that showered the group as they ran for shelter. But in coming here, I have been told by many people that this volcano is perfectly safe. Well, firstly, Etna is currently probably the most active volcano on Earth. And in terms of eruption frequency, productivity, Etna certainly has one of the most sophisticated monitoring surveillance systems on Earth. You have instruments that record any sort of ground vibration. Then we measure gas emission and then magnetism and gravity and infrasound, which are acoustic signals at very low frequencies that we cannot hear. And then obviously there's a great need for monitoring of volcanic ash emissions. We have surveillance cameras, we have thermal cameras, we run computer simulations. So all this is being done virtually all the time. And I've still left out a few things. <laughs> But for the people here, Etna is much more than just data. They call her Mama, and she is a constant companion. In 1669, the lava flow in six months covered a distance of 45 miles. It covered uh, little villages such as uh, Nicolosi. If you look around, you'll see old flows, late 1800s. You'll see the lava flow of 1983, and you can get into people's experience. For me, Etna is a mama Etna. It's a volcano, um, amazing, but it's uh, in my heart. In questo posto, nel 1776, un'eruzione lavica minacciò di distruggere il villaggio di Nicolosi e i Nicolositi portarono le immagini dei santi e le loro reliquie, ottenendo da loro la grazia che la lava si fermasse proprio in questo territorio. 
pregando sono riusciti a eh, farla fermare. Non c'è alcuna evidenza scientifica che questo ovviamente sia accaduto per la preghiera, però così è stato. In questo luogo, più che in tanti altri posti della Terra, eh, si avverte fortissima la potenza della natura. Sono abituati a degli sconvolgimenti naturali così forti che da un lato ti fanno ammirare la natura, ma dall'altro ti fanno rivolgere all'alto, all'altissimo, anche, come dire, un afflato sovrannaturale. But of course, faith and monitoring alone won't reassure many travelers. When Boris and his team find activity, they send their findings to a special organization. They use the data to set restrictions on where people can go on Etna. Noi ricevuto il segnale e le comunicazioni dagli NGV eh, emettiamo l'avviso di protezione civile. Questo avviso va ai sindaci dei comuni, emettono, fanno delle ordinanze, impediscono o limitano l'accesso al vulcano le, stabilendo delle quote a cui possono accedere i turisti in sicurezza. Alfio Garrone, il contitolare di questo locale che abbiamo rifatto dopo l'eruzione del 1983, l'abbiamo riaperto nel 1985 e oggi ci troviamo di nuovo a lavorare per il turismo che viene sull'Etna. E come si può vedere in questa immagine, vediamo in alto questo fiume di lava che scende, arriva sopra il nostro locale, la prima struttura ad essere colpita dalla lama. Abbiamo ricominciato, come si vede qua, a fare la nuova costruzione sopra la lava ancora calda. There is no universal system to tell you the chances of an eruption. Each place has its own. And fortunately, in Etna's case, the lava moves very slowly. Etna has killed no more than 77 people in the last 2,700 years. So here's the thing. Intense local monitoring and strong regulation can protect people. But by visiting, you put your trust in others and individual tour operators. What you can do is research what's happening at your volcano to help you understand the risks. In coming here, all the people I've met have reconciled themselves to living in Mama's shadow in their own unique way. Dentro quella chiesa eh, ci sentiamo ancora comunità unita che prega insieme, che ha delle tradizioni comuni, che ha un territorio comune e che ha un amore comune per questa terra. Naturalmente non abbiamo paura di ricominciare di nuovo su un vulcano attivo quale l'Etna perché abbiamo già una certa fratellanza con questo grande vulcano che viviamo bene così. For me Etna is a little bit like a person, a very slightly lunatic person, a person that you adore and at the same time you have difficulties in understanding, but if you adore, if you love a person, you accept that person. For me, with Etna, the incredible experience of seeing one of nature's most stunning displays is worth that risk. Yeah.